Hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me on this Saturday, May 18th, 2024. It is 2.54 p.m. Eastern Time as I'm speaking and recording. Praises be to God first. Let's give him honor and glory and praise right now. And then I also praise him for every single one of you that continue to join. And I thank you guys for joining today as we continue this daily devotional, 365 devotions for a peaceful spirit, a peaceful spirit, just knowing that we know that we know. You've heard that before. Know that you know that you know. Guys, we need to know that we know who we are in Christ. Amen. And we'll achieve that peaceful spirit. Uh, today's devotional titled ASAs or ASAs, some whatever term you or pronunciation you use, folks. Um, ASAs, Facts and Faith, Part One. I guess we're going to have a let me check here, guys. We got, uh oh, let me see. We got another three parter coming up, it looks like. So we got ASA's Facts and Faith. They got a three-parter coming up. I'm looking forward to that. I know the last one we did was, I enjoyed it. I hope you all did as well. So this is part one. In our scriptures today, folks, I've only got highlighted 2 Chronicles chapter 14, verse 11. And this is what it reads. The Word of God says this. Help us, O Lord our God, for we rest on you. Okay, so that's beautiful. And I, I went ahead and I, I got four other scriptures here, folks. Let's just go ahead and read these. And then I'm going to discuss something here real quick before we get into this. A lot of you are familiar with this one. Exodus 14, 14. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Take that and what we just read in Second Chronicles and understand something, guys. This was before Jesus Christ came, before he was crucified and resurrected, and before he put the Holy Spirit in each and every one of us through our faith. It is our faith in Christ that now overcomes the world. Today's background, you know, fighting that good fight of faith. That's in Timothy, uh, 1 Timothy 6, 12. And I want to read 1 John 5, 4 through 5. For every child of God defeats this evil world. Listen to this, guys. This is you. If you have put your faith and your belief in Jesus Christ as the Lord of your life, you are now a child of God. And every, every, not most, not some, every child of God defeats this evil world. And we achieve this victory through our faith. Take that with today's background. Fight the good fight of faith. Hold on to your faith. It's that's to me, that's the main thing that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, according to John 10:10. 10, 10. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy your faith because he knows that is the power that's in you. That and also the Holy Spirit that now dwells in you guys. Verse 5. And who can win this battle against the world? Only those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And then everybody were real. Man, guys, there's so many. But then we'll end with four, uh, Philippians 4.13. So many of us know that one. You probably got a bracelet, a sticker, a magnet, a coffee cup. I can do all things. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. So I might add those on today's links, guys. So let's read today's devotional. Part one reads this. We, like King Asaph, may start out our lives well. We aim to seek God and to observe all his ways, following his heart. We build security into our lives, just as Asa fortified the cities in Judah. And I looked him up. He was the third king of Judah. and He ruled for 41 years. Most of it was pleasing in the sight of the Lord. But towards the end of his career, whatever you want to call it, either he was just getting tired and fed up, but he started seeking the world instead of God. So, guys, please get in there and read that. Or, or, or just research on Asa. I'll read a little bit about him. This is, this is still how we are today, folks. Um, we remove we remove all that God would frown on, just as Asa removed the high places where false gods were worshipped. Awesome man. And during those years of faithfulness, security, and devotion, we may have peace and rest all around. Listen to that. As long as you're seeking God and following God's request his commands his suggestions a lot of people don't like call them commands or commandments or rules god if you're living a, a righteous life according to god's will you will have peace and rest all around and so when we start focusing on the world like asa did bad things start to happen why because god said that was going to happen you, you fall away from me you make friendship with the world that's separation from god bad stuff's going to happen guys we should not be surprised Yet then our faith, like Asa, may be tested. Here we go. When an army of invaders, of peace disruptors, comes towards us, we must go out and battle it. And as again, 
Look at the Old Covenant, the Old Testament. Look at any story in the Bible, David and Goliath before Jesus came. David fought Goliath by his faith in God. It was his faith in God that won that victory over Goliath. Moses parting the red guys. We can go on and on the stories. They had full faith in God. And it was God doing these things. Many of these miracles that God did on its, I don't want to say on its own for lack of better terms, guys, but just for the sake of this video. But now that Christ dwells in us, it's still God doing these things. It's still God doing these things. Even though I say he's seated, he, I'm just going to paraphrase just so I can put on you how I, I'm interpreting this. Now that he is seated, it is Christ, his power, the Holy Spirit power now dwelling in us. We are his hands. We are his feet. We are his eyes, his ears, his mouth here on this earth. We are children of God who can do all things through Christ who now lives in us. It is God now working in us and through us, guys. That is so powerful. Um, so go out and battle it. As we do so, we know we need to pray to God using words like Asa, Lord, there is no one besides you to help in the battle between the powerful and those who have no strength. So help us, O Lord our God, for we trust in you and in your name have come against this multitude. Guys, whatever you say to this mountain, whatever you say to this mountain, in the name of Jesus, I command you to get out of my way. In the name of Jesus, guys, guess what? That's the power of Christ working in you and through you. But it's got to be based on your faith. I've said before, and I truly believe it, God is only going to meet you at your level of faith. I've discussed with people in the past. Uh, I take nothing at all away from the medical field. But guys, if you're going to trust on the doctors and medicine, put 100% of your faith in that. Put 100% of your faith that God sent that doctor, that God sent that medication, that God sent that procedure for you to heal you. Don't say, well, if this doesn't work, then I'll just go back to prayer and trust God. Guys, do not do that. Don't mess around with your faith like that. Either put all your faith in God and God alone, or put all your faith in what is the things that God has given us. Pick, pick one. It's not, there, there's no brain, there's no rocket science here. Just pick one. There's nothing wrong with it. And I've got so many examples and testimonies from the past that prove this. They prove it true. And actually the Bible will back that up. There's nothing wrong at all with putting your faith and hope in medicine and doctors. But put all of it in there. Don't save some up for, for God later. You know what I'm saying, guys? And this is what, uh, if you listen to Asa, he had all his faith in God at the beginning, but then towards the end, he started getting a little wishy-washy, for lack of better terms. Um, so we trust in you. Let no man prevail against you, Lord. For then and only then will we find that it will be the Lord who does the battling for us, and I've got to add in here, and in us, and through us, and the Lord alone who will give us not only victory, but rewards as well. Not only are we going to win the big, win the battle that we're in, guys, we're going to get rewarded after the fact. It made us be strengthened in our faith. To me, that's good enough of a reward for me. Strength and fortify my, I want absolutely flawless, unwavering faith. We all should want that. All because we trusted, rested in, relied on, and looked to the Lord. Guys, we're going to leave it at that. This is a good start to a three-parter we got coming up. I look forward to the next two days. Please, if I'll uh, tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and highlight those uh, those scriptures at the beginning and just, just let that penetrate on your heart. That some of these amazing stories that we focus on and, and, and learn about in the Old Testament was before the Holy Spirit came, before you believed in your heart and confessed with your mouth, Jesus is your Lord. Once you did that, that power, that same power that helped Goliath win, that say, or I'm sorry, that helped David win over Goliath. That same power that helped all these kings throughout the Bible win their victories, that power of faith in God. Now, that very power, that the power of the Holy Spirit in us because of our faith. And we've, like I said in uh, 1 John 5, 4, we overcome this world by our faith. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I pray you got something from this. I know I, I did. It just re, recertifies or refortifies or whatever the word you want to call it, guys. Um, it's just just how awesome God is in us and through us. Amen. So thank you for joining me until tomorrow, Sunday the 19th. Enjoy the rest of your day and we will see what the Lord says then. I love you guys.